This video is all about the equations of motion and if I have an object I can represent it by a dot. Now that could represent anything, it could be perhaps a car that uh, undergoes uh, some kind of acceleration due to an applied force and we can think about how this object actually behaves and we can think about that mathematically. So as I've said we can represent this vehicle by just this dot here to represent effectively that, that whole object up there and perhaps it undergoes some kind of acceleration so it gets quicker and quicker. Uh, and it might travel a certain distance that we can uh, call S, the displacement, uh, and maybe it ends up travelling at some final velocity V after a time T. Now, these symbols here are going to be very, very important, uh, and I'd just like to explain those in a bit more detail. Firstly, looking at S, well, this is a symbol that we use for displacement, which is a vector that is a distance travelled in a certain direction. And we measure this always in metres. I'm then going to look at the final velocity, which we can give uh, the symbol v to. So v being the velocity, and this is measured in metres per second. However, uh, that might be how fast it ends up, but if something is accelerating, it's going to get quicker and quicker. And we also need to think about the initial velocity. Well, we can't call it v, so we're going to call that u. And I'm going to make this very clear that I've got a u with a tail and a nice pointy v. Next up, we have the acceleration. The important thing for these equations of motion is that this acceleration must be constant. And that's measured in metres per second squared. Finally, we have the time it takes. So what we have are five constants, the displacement, initial velocity, the final velocity, the acceleration, and also the time taken. Uh, and these equations of motion are also sometimes called the SUVAT equations or sometimes the UVAST. Both uh, equally the same, you know, it's the same letter just in a different order. And it's these equations which really describe the, the motion of objects that undergo this uniform acceleration. So we have four SUVAT equations that we use all the time. Uh, the first one is that V is equal to U plus AT. The second one is that S is equal to a half U plus V multiplied by T. We can also say that S is equal to ut plus a half at squared. And finally, we can say that v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. Now, what I haven't got here is the fifth one, okay, because we have five constants. Uh, there is another one which we don't always tend to use, but we can also say that S is equal to vt minus a half at squared. So where do these equations come from? Well, in the next video, I'll explain how you derive every single one of these SUVAT equations.